you ran people operations at Google for a decade. Yeah. And so what was missing from that experience that you are now bringing the business world with Humu? Uh, the biggest thing was that I realized that on a really, really bad day at Google, at least while I was there, your biggest problem was maybe the lobster bisque was cold, right? Like it was, it was a pretty privileged place to work. And for people who, like me, were immigrants or people who worked hourly jobs or people who worked in like cafes or retail, work was not going to get much better sooner. And so we started Tumu with the idea of bringing some of that goodness to other organizations. So you're using AI to identify behavioral changes, to give employees nudges to help them be better versions of themselves. What exactly does that mean in practice? Well, what it means is if you step back, it's hard for organizations to change and it's hard for managers to be good managers and it's hard for employees to be good team members, to feel safe, to feel secure. And our idea, which so far has been working pretty well, is that if you better understand what's going on with the, with the people in an organization, at the team level, at an individual level, they want to be better, they want to learn and grow. So small interventions, small reminders that we call nudges to a manager, to a team member, to a colleague, actually can drive more behavioral change for the good than all the training in the world. Hmm. So give me some examples of so, this at work. So one example is there's a, uh, there's a restaurant chain we work with and uh, they, they wanted to roll out a new product, right? They wanted soup in their stores and it was new. But the underlying problem we identified in some of their stores was not product development or product launches, it was that people didn't feel free to ask their managers questions. Mm. And the workforce, it's largely hourly, mostly high school educated, very diverse, largely workforce from underrepresented groups. Mm. So the nudges we sent were simple. We told managers to just ask people for advice and their opinions, and we nudged individuals to assume good intent. Because often as an employee, you assume your manager's out to get you. So the combination of those things caused people to say like, look, why don't we, I don't know, why don't we give out free samples? Why don't we let people try the product? And that in turn led to more sales, more business, that was great, but more important, was more trust with their managers and the team members and people felt better about the work. It's interesting that you mentioned contractors and you can't do an interview without talking about your work at Google and Google, one of the issues Google has been facing is criticism over how they handle TVCs, temps, vendors, mm -hmm. contractors. You've got senators just today mm -hmm. sending a letter to, to Google CEO Sundar Pichai calling on, on him to make these employees full time. They make up like half of Google's workforce. Mm -hmm. Is there a better approach for Google? when it comes uh, to contractors? Yeah, I mean, I think in general you should hire them as employees. Um, you think Sundar Pichai should hi hire all these temps as employees? Well, I think in general you should. So for example, mm -hmm. at Humu we have somebody who's working part-time. Um, they're a recruiter for us and I reached out to her and said, I'd much rather have you as an employee on the books with benefits, with stock, with all kinds of goodness. And I can see situations where you sort of try before you buy. You don't know if the person's going to work out. There's some jobs that are like that, right? Also, if you're ramping up and ramping down rapidly, you don't know as a business if you're going to invest for the long term. Um, but no, I generally think if you're going to employ people, you should employ them. What if they say, it's too expensive? If the company say that? Yeah. Um, I think that's just cost of doing business. Hmm. All right. What about, you know, you mentioned at the beginning of this that there were times when the biggest problem at Google was the lobster bisque being cold. You know, now you have employees protesting the way the company has handled sexual misconduct, 20,000 employees walking out of the com company. How could Google have handled that better? Uh, well, it's hard to say, because on the ground, things al always look different. So I don't want to second guess the folks no. who are there. Um, I will say one of the nice things about being at Humu with mm -hmm. a great team of co-founders is um, we get to make our own policies and we make decisions. And we've got a very clear policy. If you engage in any kind of behavior of that kind, the kind that was alleged, you're not there anymore. Mm -hmm. And uh, so far that's served us pretty well. Uh, meantime, there's a, a, an employee, a G former Google employee who was on maternity leave who says she's not going back. She's written this memo, went viral via motherboard, um, says e despite these clear policies that Google mm -hmm. says they had, um, she had problems with her manager, this person retaliated, and now it's not a safe place for her to work. Google saying they prohibit retaliation in their workplace, it's, 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 it's very clear. Mm -hmm. Policy, there's multiple channels to report concerns. What about when the policies don't seem to work? Well, that's one of the things that's really tough about management. So again, I've been at Google for a while. I was mm -hmm. excited when we came up with the idea of five months of full paid maternity leave. That was mm. groundbreaking for the U.S. at the time. Yes. Canada, not such a big deal. They had better. Uh, at Humu, we offer a year of parental mm -hmm. leave um, mm -hmm. and because we think that's important. It's a special time in someone's life and you should care for that child and you shouldn't have financial pressure to come Are back Are people to work. taking the year? Yeah. Uh, we've had two moms go out. One's out now. One just came back from work. Uh, Jen Brown and Annie Wickman and they're 
amazing. Mm -hmm. Actually, not the year. Sorry, the mm -hmm. first one took six months. We'll mm -hmm. see about Annie. Mm -hmm. So it's interesting that you know some of the things that you're doing, not, where, where you have full control, you're doing things differently. Why? Uh, well, I think I think one of the things about leadership. This, this is one of the things you know I, I did learn at my last job. If you're lucky enough to have a large brand behind you and have some reputation, that carries with it some responsibility. It's, it's like Spider-Man's uncle, right? <laughs> you know, with great power comes great responsibility. And there's certain issues where you should speak out. But it's also true that inside a company, if you're not the founder, CEO, you often have limited ability to do that. And it's just a luxury and a blessing to be able to say, like, look, the right thing is you provide a year of parental leave. The right thing is if somebody engages in bad conduct, you let them go. It doesn't matter if they're valuable to the business or not. There's behaviors that aren't acceptable. So quickly, how do you think Humu can make a company like Google or any company better? Well, what we've seen in companies like, and, and there's only a few companies where we can share the names publicly, but mm -hmm. places like Fidelity, mm -hmm. um, uh, places like Sweetgreen, places, mm -hmm. uh, you know, firms like that, places like Virgin Atlantic, is that the cumulative effect of small interventions helps people be their best selves. Mm. And so you see improvements in things like openness, in terms of sharing, in terms of uh, gratitude, in terms of just how people treat one another as human beings, which, by the way, ends up having a business impact. You see, you know, 2 to 12% productivity lift, all kinds of business benefit. But the cool thing for me is people come to work happier, mm -hmm. and they leave work happier. Mm -hmm.